Dampened mold is usually caused by a buildup of condensation inside a building. A high percentage of homes in the UK experience it. Our cold and wet weather in the winter and a lack of ventilation makes our homes especially prone to indoor mold. Occasionally, it might be caused by a structural problem, which would need building work to resolve it, but in most cases, it's because of the lack of good ventilation. In this video, we show simple steps you can take to reduce condensation and prevent damp and mold in your home. And we show you how to deal with any existing mold and how to prevent new mold growth. There are three main ways to manage condensation in your home. One, stop excess moisture from building up. Two, make sure you ventilate each room properly. And three, keep your home warm. The biggest causes of condensation in your home are cooking, taking showers, and drying clothes indoors. Condensation occurs when warm, moist air hits a cold surface, like a window or outside wall. If you see condensation on a window, wipe it down using an absorbent cloth or a squeegee. This will reduce surface water building up, which could lead to mold. And remember to wipe down window frames and sills as well. After taking a shower, use a squeegee to wipe off the surface water on the screen. When you're cooking, put lids on pots and pans to stop the moisture getting out. Switch on the cooker hood extractor to draw the steam out and reduce the amount of condensation on the walls. And if there is one, switch on the room extractor fan. Do the same when you're taking a shower. Most extractor fans have built-in sensors. Check the fan is turned on at the mains so they work automatically. When you're cooking, it's best to keep the door shut. And do the same in the bathroom because these are the rooms where most of the steam occurs. So you want to stop the steam from escaping into the other rooms. Avoid drying clothes on a radiator because the hot water in them will turn into steam. Use a tumble dryer instead, as long as it has a ventilation pipe or it's near an open window. Or hang them on a clothes horse instead. But remember to ventilate the room. Airflow reduces condensation. So ventilate your home by opening windows whenever possible. And if you have them, open the trickle vents in the windows. They don't let much cold into the room and they can help reduce the chances of it getting damp. And remember, a damp room can result in mold occurring. Finally, leave space between furniture and walls for air to circulate. And avoid overfilling cupboards because it may prevent air circulating properly and can cause damp buildup. When your home is warmer, condensation is less likely to occur. When the weather is cold or wet, maintaining a moderate heat throughout the home is more effective than short bursts of high heat. If you don't have heating in every room, open the doors to cold rooms to let the heat in from the rest of your home. If you don't follow those necessary steps to deal with condensation, mold could occur. We've painted this wall with fake mold to show you what could happen. Mold is the result of a fungi infection. It has a black or green appearance and can sometimes be slimy. If you leave it untreated, it could release toxins into the air, which may affect your health. So if mold does occur, what's the safest and quickest way of dealing with it yourself? A word of warning, don't disturb the mold by brushing it as this could release toxins and spores into the air, causing you breathing problems. First, open the windows so the room is well ventilated and close the door to keep any mold spores that might get released from spreading. Put on a face mask and protective gloves and then wipe off the mold with warm, soapy water and then let the wall dry. When you've finished, Remove the gloves and cloth and safely dispose of them, along with the water. Next, use some mold remover like this. You can buy it in hardware stores, some supermarkets or online. Remember to always follow the manufacturer's instructions. Spray it onto the wall and let it dry. 
If you use the mold spray on a ceiling, remember to wear goggles to protect your eyes from any drips. Finally, spray a stain blocker like this over the affected area to stop the mold from coming through again. This spray contains noxious fumes, so make sure you wear a mask to stop you breathing in the fumes. Once that's done, let it dry and decorate as normal. If you find mold or mildew on your clothing, white vinegar has proved to be a good way of killing and removing it. Put the clothing in a bucket of water, add a cup of white vinegar and let it soak for at least an hour. Then load the clothing into your washing machine with your regular detergent and wash it at the hottest temperature. If you're finding it hard to prevent condensation and damp, ask your family or friends if they're able to give you a hand. The Care and Repair Handy Service carries out small home repairs for a small fee for Camden tenants who otherwise would struggle to get them done on their own. Phone on 0203 884 0468. The service can be accessed by any Camden resident who is over 65 or by those who are disabled or vulnerable. Email camdenhia at mtvh.co.uk to access this service directly. If you have any concerns about damp or mould in your home, please get in touch with us. We have a dedicated team to support you. Contact Camden Housing Repairs through our website and web chat at camden.gov.uk forward slash housing hyphen repairs or by WhatsApp or text message on 07360 277 909 or call 020 7974 4444 available 24 7 if it's an emergency. We hope you found this video helpful. There are other types of support that Camden offers, including cost of living and heating advice. For more details, visit our website or call 020 7974 4444.